can't say anything. <laughs> Mr. Sid. Have you seen Sid? Have you seen Sid? Sayyidah. <laughs> Sid was a big, big advertisement in the 90s or 80s here. Have you seen Sid? Okay. To bring Dr. Hassan to Islamic Cliff, we have to fight. Islamic at the time, between 92 and 99, we were head hunting. We hunted uh, Sabah Osman, uh, Harun, uh, Dr. Hassan, <coughs> Khaled Roy, Saleh Saeed, and others. And I have been approached. It's not easy to bring somebody here, especially if he has a caliber. And this somebody told somebody in the board, don't take Dr. Hassan. To me, Anna. He's, he's doubting, he was doubting my choice, or our choice. He said, why? You know when I say why? I'm not in a very good mood. You know my why <laughs> becomes why, where, when. He said, no, 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 no. What's the fine? He said, tell me what is the name of the individual to the board member. He said, no, no, he said, tell me. I was in command. He said, Mr. So-and-so, said, I don't recognize his witness. I'm going to take him, because it's my duty as a CEO to bring him to the organization as a value for the organization. I'm not going to listen to you. As a board member. And this way, actually, you have to fight with the striker, with the people who can make difference, with the people who can push you forward gently, but progressively. Because you know, each one comes to the organization with value. Dr. Hassan is coming with a package of value. He's a movement by himself. When he moves, it moves. And when it moves, it moves. And when everybody moves, it moves. <laughs> it's my English. You people don't speak English. Where you come from? <laughs> Where you come from? <laughs> Pakistan. <laughs> so really, to be very honest, on the ground, he moves. If you put him on a plane, he moves. If you let him to sit next to the climate, he moves the climate. And everything. Because a man with the Quran at the back of his mind, the Quran moving him. So he can move the surrounding around him, not the community. They can move the surroundings around them. Quran is, a, is what we should be spinning around, what should be proud of, what should be uplifted by listening to it. Islamic Khif is, like Prophet Hassan said, a house. Me and my colleagues, my, my brethren, my other, other anbiya, like somebody built a house apart from the corner stone. Beautiful house. Professor Samson, I am the stone. Islamic Khalid is still missing the stone, but each one of us is putting a stone. And because Islamic Khalid is a growing and ever-growing and ever-growing organization, this stone will be put by every and any one of you. Should be keep putting stones after a stone, after a stone, after a stone, after a stone. Because there's no end for world problem. There's no end for suffering. There's no end for poverty. There's no end for displacement. There's no end for injustice. That's the stone will not be put, the house will not be complete till we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there is a story for all of us. See, everybody is crying that Dr. Hussam is leaving, isn't it? Creator is Dr. Hussam. Okay. Create new young leadership. Don't cry on a prophet who died. But cry on yourself if you don't create a follower of the prophet. Or a leader that can follow the prophet. So we want you as a leader with the board member everywhere. Wherever and whenever you go, you create leaders, not followers. You create a power, not shadow. You create an energy that can change the community, <coughs> not just dust. That's what you need to do. And don't cry anybody 
but leaving. He does. He did what he can do for 27 years. What else you want to do? You need to do better. You need to rise. You need to stand up and create another Dr. Hussam, <coughs> Dr. Hussam, for Dr. Hussam, and so on. Because the, the house of Islamic leaf will be ever missing this stone. And forever. Not only Islamic leaf. Because the unjust world that we are living in, unfortunately. Last but not least, don't be destroyed by technology. I keep saying it. And I keep saying it, and they will forever say it. This, 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 the technology is a double-edged sword. An edge can cut you because it makes you addict. It makes you dependent. You might tell yourself, this man came from the Stone Age. Is that right? Or the Bronze Age? Or the, what else age? Ice age. Ice age. Ice age. Ice age. Ice age. <laughs> because I'm ice breaker. <laughs> <laughs> and you are iced tea. <laughs> Warren the coffee, right? <laughs> Very good. Why don't you laugh? <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, I was in the Yemeni conference. And everybody was asleep at the end of the second day. And they were supposed to be the one who <laughs> charge of the, of the last session. And the man came to me on the, on the stage and said, Everybody's asleep. What are you going to do with these two hours? Pull down. <laughs> I started to write the silliest jokes in my life. Look at Sahifa, all it I started to write the silliest ever jokes in my life. And then I stood up on the stage and I started to say it in Arabic. Nobody laughed. I started to laugh. I said, why don't you laugh? Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> like the ice break. But coming back to that technology, to be very honest, one day, whether we like it or not, AI will destroy your thinking ability. Like it or not, saying Hanif Banna is a backward from what's, be what's before the ice uh, stage. Stone before, no? Ice age. Ice age, nothing before that, huh? Dinosaur huh? Dinosaurs. 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 <laughs> Dinosaurs. <laughs> Dinosaurs. <laughs> Big Bang. <laughs> Big Bang. <laughs> Big Bang, nothing. <laughs> Allah al Azim, I'm witnessing, I put my witness in front of Allah. You will never be able to think because you always will be depending on somebody else to think for you. Don't enjoy it. They're changing societies and communities into individuals, they're changing families into individuals, they're changing motherhood and fatherhood into individuals, they're changing emotion love and the care to mm -hmm. stone relationship, cold relationship. Focus on what you eat, drink, and have relationship with the second, with the opposite sex. Nothing else. And this is not Islam. If you want to be Muslim, liberate yourself from being addicted to drink, to anything else, especially with the AI. One day, they will not need a woman to have a baby because they can put the oven and the water of man in a, a, what, a space. Such a baby, when he comes out, what he or she will have of emotion. Look at it. We like technology. Islam is a religion which came to, to what? To tell the Prophet ﷺ from day one, Iqra, read, not read, seek knowledge. Seek knowledge, but not to let the knowledge to destroy you, your life, your community, your society, your future. And the Prophet was somebody like this in the organization reminding us who else is going to fill his space. And this is a challenge, Brother Rasim. Brother Tifu and everybody. It is Islam is not just a reminder. 
Islam is a mission. Islamic relief is an everlasting mission for all of us. You have been chosen, sister, to be a part of it, whether you like it or not. It's not your choice. Allah has chosen each and every one of us to be here to do something. <coughs> the missing stone will be missing till we meet Allah. But each one of us should be building one stone, two stones, ten stones during his time or her time in this mission. In this mission. And Dr. Hassan was a great part and is a great part. Because if you really what have been said about him for the last nearly one and a half hour, you have to deliver it into act, in action. Don't keep crying on somebody <coughs> who is leaving. We miss him. Prophet Sallallahu died. What did you do after that? Your mission is not only to cry. It's to replace and to create a new leadership. And all of you in this room, and all of you, where are they? <laughs> all of you there, you have stopped crying and take the legacy and plant it. One of the best legacy for me today, I received from Afan yesterday. Afan is in Mali, isn't it? And they took a tree, a, a, a photograph of a tree, and they sent me so and so and so. This is a tree you planted in Mali 17 years ago. 2007. My last trip with young people of Islamic Cliff, 15, 16 people. You were there? Yes. Ismail was there, and or 16 or 15, and I was roasting you and you were roasting me. And after 17 years, the mango tree is still standing. And this is your mission. Plan an idea. Plant a future for others. Plant a tree. Plant community. Plant a family. <coughs> Plant individual, plant leadership. And he is a leadership by himself. Plant another <coughs> leadership. And they let him to go somewhere else to keep planting and planting and plant. Your planting process is a never ending story. Don't stop planting, guiding, helping, serving, educating. I love you. And I love you, Sister Shireen. Love you too. <laughs> because I am from Iraq and she's from Iraq. <laughs> I love you, all of you. And we miss, we're not going to miss it, Hassan. Because we are going to use his legacy in action, not in words. In action, not in words. In action, not in words. And this is the message for the people like you, the young generation going to the coming 50 years keep putting the missing stone in this big structure of the house for you know because you are not a, you are not a worldly individual you are not a global individual you know what you are um, i finish now you know what you are you are universal individual when you talk about the big bang you know the creation of the universe not earth, the universe. We are universal, not global. Global, globe is something you stand on. You live on it. You live in it. So look at that universe. In confidence, because you have a teacher called Muhammad. He was, he was talking to the universe with all his creation. And they came to be the savior of everybody in the universe and in the world. So you people are universal individuals, not global individuals anymore. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.